Hey guys, how's it going? It is that ordinary beast here, but you can just call me Josh. And how do you guys like that new intro style to this video here? I decided to not put on my typical uh, that ordinary beast intro that I have, and I decided to do a little bit of uh, something a little bit special, I guess, for for a little intro to this video. So tell me in the comment section if you guys like that, because I I think it's actually pretty cool. I, I thought it was pretty sick. I thought the beat went perfect with it, and I I, I thought it was kind of an e epic way to start the video. So. Please tell me in the comments section what you guys thought about that, and I will definitely do it a little bit more often in some of my videos if you guys really do enjoy it that much. But uh, anyways, for the gameplay here, what I have for you guys today is a Scar L double Moab fail here on the map uh, outpost. So my final score was insane. I I believe it. I believe it's it's my probably my best score to date. Like like I don't think it's my highest kills, and it's probably not my highest KD either. But it, it's probably the best score I've gotten. Like, because it's it's a great KD and a great amount of kills at the same time. I went 76 to 4, uh, <laughs> which is, at, like, when the game finished and I saw that score pop up, I was like, what? Are you serious? I got 76 kills and only 4 deaths? That's crazy. I, I, I thought, I, I swear at the end of this game, I thought it was like 40 and forty and 10 or something like that, and it popped up as 70 and 6. That was, that was a pretty pleasant surprise. But, um, yeah, this gameplay was actually, after it happened, I was ecstatic but also incredibly disappointed at the same time because I got my first Moab here you guys are watching the Moab streak here and then and then I died I died after I got the Moab and and on the life after I got the Moab I started going on a beast streak near the end of the game and I was so close to a Moab and, and I actually counted uh, I I counted and I and the game ended when I was on a 21 streak the second time and and, and, and after, I really wasn't too upset like after I got this game because I thought I was maybe on a 15 or so. But then when I actually counted, I realized the game ended when I was, when I was on a 21 streak. Uh, <laughs> that made me so upset because that would have been super insane if, if I had been able to um, to get a double Moab with this scoreline. That would have been pretty cool. But uh, anyways, I kind of wanted to talk about Outpost today and my opinions on Outpost and how and just, I guess a few outpost tips but you might not even need to use these tips because this map almost never gets selected because no one really likes this map and that's kind of the same thing with me I'm not I'm I'm not a big fan of this map to say the least so in my opinion the three worst maps on this game are in order from worst to 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 least worst I guess is the right word are outpost uh, what's what's that map called? <laughs> I'm just drawing a blank on it. Okay, so Outpost, Downturn, and Fallen. Fallen is, is, is a map that I'm not a big fan of either. So those are probably, in my opinion, the three worst maps in the game. But I've actually, for some reason, been having a little bit of success on Outpost recently. So I, I guess, like, the main tips I can tell you guys is where I'm aiming down sights, where I was just aiming down sights right there, do not run through there. That That's a huge tip I can give you guys. Do not run through there to try to, um, because there's there's the there's a camping spot right up there that, that the enemies can look down, and it, and it's really narrow and and it, it's just not a good idea to run down there. And and also same thing with this B alley here. Uh, unless I know it's clear, I do not run down this B alley. So what I tend to do is just flank around to the right. So I, I don't go go down the middle and I don't go to the left. Um, it, although sometimes, it, as you guys will see in a little bit, I do go up here, uh, like past the B flag. Oh, I'm going to interrupt myself right there. You guys might wonder, why, Josh, why did you pick up a, a thermal ACR? Like, why would you pick that up? Well, it's because, uh, looking down that B sight line, it, it's pretty uh, hazy, so you can't really, really see the enemies. I could see their names with marksmen, but I couldn't see the enemies. And I thought, you know what, if I pick up this ACR thermal, then, then maybe, whoops, sorry about that right there, then um, maybe I'll be able to... To uh, see, see see them highlighted if they're not wearing assassin. It ended up working out. I think I picked up the last three kills for the Moab um, with that thermal ACR. And here, this is probably what cost me the second Moab. I decided because I, I didn't think I was going to have enough time to go for a second Moab, so I, I decided to try to go for a long gun streak. And it really didn't work out. I, I ended up getting, I think, around like a 30 gun streak, something around there. But it, it really wasn't something too special, so. If I wouldn't have tried to, if I would have just tried to die right away instead of going on a little gun streak here, I would have had plenty, plenty of time to pick up the second Moab. And I don't know, that's really the only thing that I could, that I could have done differently to try to help me get that second Moab, but there really wasn't too much I, I could have do. As you, as you guys are going to see on the second streak here, I'm pretty much going 
going out, going all out, balls to the wall, trying to get the second Moab here, and it, it just didn't work out. It was pretty disappointing. But anyways, as I was saying, um, on Outpost, do not, do not run down uh, the the B alley. But I just kind of contradicted myself because I just did it right there. But that's because I I just had to go complete balls it deep to try to pick up the the second Moab. That's the only reason I did it. So I would highly recommend flanking around uh, by the by the C side on the right. And then flanking around back to A, maybe taking them, t trying to get them up from behind. Because when you run right down the middle and, and run on the left by B, it seems like there's always snipers and assault rifle guys just camping and picking you off from every every angle. And not recommend going down through the B alley or through the center of the map because it's so congested. There's so many snipers and assault rifle guys laying prone there trying to pick you off. So it's really, it'll save you a lot of deaths if you, if you stay away from those situations. But uh, anyways, a little bit about this Scar L here. I, I don't know if I'm a little bit late to the party or whatever, but I've been having a lot of fun and I've been doing really well with this Scar L here with the silencer and the extended mags, which in my opinion is the best attachment on the gun. But anyways, that's besides the point. I've been really, really enjoying this class and this gun recently and um, I, I don't know, maybe I, I am a little bit late to the party, maybe you guys really uh, re realized how um, awesome and fun this gun was before, but I actually think I like this gun like more than the ACR, like I think I do better with this gun than the ACR, because the fire rate is higher on this gun, and I think it's more of a, of a rush type assault rifle, but anyways, if, if you guys um, haven't tried out like, like the SCAR L as much as you're using the ACR, please try out the SCAR L, it's a great gun, but anyways, if you all enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like rating, if this video can get to 70 likes, that would be super amazing, and uh, hopefully you guys all enjoy the video as you saw right here uh, the game ended when I was on a 21 streak but it's too bad anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all later peace